I mean, I feel like he's my total, um, like he's my star. I, I'm so proud of him. But um, I, I feel like because I went through the bad times with him, just seeing him doing so well and being successful is all the much more sweeter. Um, I feel like I appreciate how responsible and reliable he is. I can give him a note and he delivers. He goes somewhere. He gets what I need him to do. Um, I oftentimes joke that we should pay him here because he's like a worker in our classroom. And he is in fact that way. If I give him something to do, he does it because he wants to make me proud. And, and I, I appreciate that he has that respect for me. And I think it took a while to even get to that point for both of us. Um, sitting in a chair, following simple routines, tasks, um, being hang up your backpack, keep your shoes on, check your schedule, tuck your chair in, those things were not able to be followed. Even walking to class off the bus, getting off the bus, coming into the school, um, running away from teachers, uh, work avoidance to extreme levels, um, examples being like sliding out of chair, um, refusing to grip a pencil, um, really wasn't able to um, even meet the needs to work at our, at our curriculum tables or our zone areas. Whenever we started to put the desk in, he started to feel more um, secure in the classroom. Um, and I really feel that way because we had done so many schedules before the desk and none of them worked at all. Um, icon schedule, picture schedules, word schedules, giving him a choice book, nothing. Um, until we incorporated the desk with boxes for him to do independently, he, he really didn't have any structure within our room. Um, this gave him his own personal space. Um, and kind of allowed him to have his own safe zone that he could come in and out of to be around us and then go back to his space. It, his desk created a safe place for him. It created a zone where he knew at his desk what was expected of him. He knew what the task was, whereas in the classroom, it, it, he didn't really know where he belonged, where he would fit, what he would do. Whereas at his desk, that was his place. That's where his work was, that, that's where his pictures were, his schedule, everything was set up for him. When we look back at some of the original pictures that Mrs. Orsack took of Neil, when we were beginning, when we first created one of the first picture schedules we had of him, you can see the pictures and he's very sad. Just the whole affect that he has, he's not looking at the camera, he, you can just tell how unhappy he is. And today, just seeing him move around his environment and be productive in his, in his, his setting, it's just amazing and even the pictures that as he as the books progressed and the visuals progressed for him the pictures became you could tell the happiness that came over him and he was just so proud of himself because this is really a success story this is a story about a child who was not wanting to come to school not wanting to participate having a really difficult time and struggling to um, just to be here and engage in learning and all of the school routines. It was very difficult for him. And um, uh, Lynn Wildey and, and Lisa Donahue worked very closely with Ms. Orsack, um, Neil's teacher, to um, problem solve ways that they could help him feel more comfortable, to give him some supports in the classroom at school. Um, there have been so many strategies that have been tried. They haven't all worked, but that's just the nature of, of this type of job um, because every child is unique and special and we have to find what works for, for Neil. And so um, they have spent so much time and energy and effort and just been really determined to um, have Neil be successful. And I, I think clearly he is successful now and he's a happier child now. He enjoys school. He enjoys his time here. He enjoys the people around him and what he does and um, this is really about what um, we in therapy services are here to do is to help facilitate that. We don't ever get to take all the credit for what happens um, but we work together and we're part of the team that um, helps to make big differences in kids lives.